Shamai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Aha, Shamai, Yasharala, Yahawa, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Aha. Shema Yashurala Yahawa Allah Hayanawa Yahawa Akhud Hero Israel Yahawa our power Yahawa is one Brakata Yahawa Brakata Yahawa Shai Brakata Yahawa Brakata Yahawa Shai Brakata Yahawa Brakata Yahawa Shai Baha Shum Racha Hakwadash Bless you, Yahweh. Bless you, Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Kahalayim La. Alahayanawa. Abinawa. Yahweh. Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Bahasham. Rachahakwadash. All praise to our power, our Father, Yahweh. In the name, Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles, and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the house of David the elect. Beginning with the hundred, forty, and four thousand. Imagine just one day. In the kingdom of heaven imagine only one day in the kingdom of Yahweh Shai was the kingdom of Yahweh on this planet earth being governed and ruled through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai and the rest of the first fruits the rest of the members of the elect but we know that the elect begins with the only begotten son Yahweh Shai that's the kingdom of the Heavenly Father on the earth man you know, the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai on earth. All right. The heavenly father's kingdom being ruled through his only begotten son and King David and the rest of the elect, you know. And then you have the rest of Israel being within the kingdom. Getting into this man, I pray that it's going to be edifying. All right. Lord willing. So imagine just one day in our kingdom, man, you know, where you can fully be. You can fully exist as an Israelite here on this planet Earth. You know, and through the Spirit, I've been seeing the word "freeman" a lot. The word "freeman," which is a compound word, "freeman" meaning free man, free man. And you know, in scriptures in the New Testament, what Apostle Paul alludes to how we're free men, we're free men through Yahweh Shai. We serve Yahweh Shai, but we're the Lord's free man. You know. Now we have a uh, certain extension of that, you know, within this truth, because we're under a grace period. So you have liberty and Yahweh Shai, you know, we're rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, but the Lord knows that we're not fully perfect yet. So we have certain liberty in this truth, and the Lord knows that, you know, we're in the worst situation we could be in living in this captivity. Yeah, so we have certain liberty, but we're gonna fully have liberty in the kingdom of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Once again, I've been seeing that word Freeman a lot. You even got the um, the words San Francisco, you know, which is uh, Spanish. You know, um, San meaning saint, Fran meaning free, Cisco meaning man. So Saint Freeman, Saint Freeman, you know. That they, they, when you look at that part of the country, you know, it's spiritual. Because that part of the country is more liberal, you know. Which they're they're um, liberated in wickedness. They're free to be wicked, you know. You know, notice that side of the country is more, you know, democratic, so to speak. Which this whole political system is a joke, really, you know. But just dealing with that word, uh, Francisco or San Francisco, it means Saint Freeman. So you notice that part of the country is more liberal, so to speak. But us in this truth, we're being liberated on the right hand. We have, you know, uh, liberation and righteousness, and we're going to fully have it in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So, we're going to get into this, man. I pray it's going to be edifying. It's going to be basically a uh, a quick hit. Just going to read a few scriptures, okay? And I pray it's edifying. Now, I want to make mention of this real quick. The psalmist is basically, you know, also talking about the time when we had our temple in Jerusalem during the time of king solomon 
King David had within his mind to build a temple to Yahweh, but we know that his son Solomon built it. And if you can receive in the spirit, Solomon is Yahweh Shai. That's one of his former reincarnations. Our Lord was King Solomon. So let's get into this, man. Praise is going to be edifying. Psalm 84 and 9 in the KJV, and we're going to read the NLT. Behold, O power our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. Now, King David, he was chosen to uh, lead Israel, you know, but, but ultimately his son, Solomon. Once again, Solomon is Yahweh Shai. Let's read in the uh, NLT. O power, O God, meaning O power, look with favor upon the king, our shield. Show with favor to the one you have anointed, which ultimately was Solomon, you know, King Solomon, who built that temple to Yahweh. And once again, the anointed one, which is uh, the Messiah, is Yahweh Shai. But you notice that's the same spirit. Solomon is Yahweh Shai. That's why he was chosen to build that temple. Now, it's a spiritual temple. It's the people of the Heavenly Father. The Israelites, that's why we're being gathered by way of this truth. You know, the Lord likens us to a, uh, a building. You know, we're that third temple being built. Okay? And Yahweh Shai, he's our protection, you know? Yahweh Shai is our protection. You know, through his name, we're protected, so we don't need a damn weapon. The Lord is our weapon for the times we're entering into. He's our shield. Verse 10, this is the point, in the KJV and also in the NLT. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. Once again, you can imagine the time of King Solomon when all Israel will be in pomp and, you know, pretty much be in a, uh, a joyous spirit to, to go down to Jerusalem, to go down to our temple, you know, to, be, to behold the beauty of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You, you're in the Lord's presence, you know, going down to Jerusalem, going down to that temple. But imagine us more so in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So the psalmist is uh, speaking the spirit about our temple, but more so about the kingdom. Because the, the temple only lasted for so long. You know, it was built during the, during, during the, uh, the, uh, the fourth year of King Solomon's reign. It was completed in the 11th year. It took seven years to complete the building of that temple. You know. And King Solomon also built his own house, but he had servants to do it. He didn't have to lay a finger, you know, but he designed his house how he wanted to, you know, have his house built. It took 13 years to build his house. Imagine how glorious that house was that King Solomon had. But imagine us more so in the kingdom. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. One day in the kingdom is, is better than a thousand of your best days on this side. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. So you would rather be a doorman in the kingdom of heaven than to sell out on this side. You know? NLT, let's see what it say. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. You know? And once again, imagine during the time of King Solomon when we had our temple built, there was a prelude to how the kingdom gonna be. But once again, we're, we're the temple now. And when you read in Revelation 21, the Lord's gonna have Jerusalem built up gloriously, but there's not gonna be a, a third temple because we're the temple, the people, you know? A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. So once again, the, the kingdom is gonna far overshadow your best days you could, you could have anywhere. Just one day in the kingdom. A single day. I had rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God, meaning you'd rather be a doorman. You, you would rather hold open the door for people than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. And see, two-thirds of our people in America, especially those of them that sold out, those are people that sold out, that made it in this world, they're living a the good life in the homes of the wicked. And this society gonna be destroyed, man. And it, it will never come close to what the Lord is gonna give us elect. Okay? He gonna give y'all everything. Let's finish it out. Verse 11. I'm gonna just read this in the uh, KJV. For Yahweh power is a, a sun and shield. Once again, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our power. You know? Our illumination, our protection. The Heavenly Father will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. He's gonna give y'all everything. Beyond heart could wish, man. 
You know? Psalm 1611. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. That will show me the path of life. You know, this truth. In thy presence is fullness of joy. This truth. And we're, we're literally going to meet Yahweh Shai soon. You know? At thy right hand, Yahweh Shai, there are pleasures forevermore. There are pleasures forevermore. The Lord is going to open up paradise. He's going to open up paradise for the elect, man. Hey, and the planet Earth is, is going to go back to how it originally was during the beginning. During the time of, uh, you know, Eden. You know? Because the whole Earth was paradise. But the land of Israel was that garden within the paradise. The best part of the Earth, man. You know? And the Heavenly Father's dwelling. His presence is going to be among us again. You know? Hey, but you can read Isaiah 64 and 4. You know? You can read other scriptures that talk about the kingdom. You know, it has entered into the mind of man what the Lord has prepared for us. It's going to be, uh, be beyond our imagination, really. You know? So I pray this edifying. Once again, call Halayim La, Allah Hayyanawa, Abinawa, Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakudash. Shalom on to the next video.